What is going on guys, it's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr Jules video. I accidentally just clicked start because the new UI is here and I didn't understand how it worked. So here we are in our first game. What country are we in? Oh my goodness, I, uh, I don't even know. Is this some Poland or something like that? Uh, just gonna have to click Southern Poland here because it kind of looks more like Hungary, I guess. I don't, I don't actually know where this is. Oh my goodness, we guessed so close. Okay, guys, welcome to another video. We're back on the road to number one in the world. And uh, yeah, this one was a really quick beginning. Oh, but this looks like Canada and maybe like Newfoundland to me, I think. Lack of front plate would make sense. The, the winterish coverage was a lack of trees. I think like if we were on Ontario, we'd see probably more trees. So that's what I'm kind of thinking here. But anyway, guys, wow. That was an unexpected start to the video. We are actually close to my personal best at the moment. We're, we're creeping into the top 200. I think at the end of the last video, we were 201st. And this has been a really good start to the video, so I'm glad I accidentally clicked start. Um, wow, we're going to get to check out where we are in the ranks after this. Um, but uh, this has been... It's been a really interesting start. Okay, we have low cam for Sri Lanka here. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, welcome to the video. And um, yeah, as you're watching this right now, I am out of town. So I'm pre-recording a few videos at the moment. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we are able to find some success today. Do give the video a like if you are enjoying so far. I mean, it's been a good, it's been a good first duel. We won in three rounds. So that's exactly what you like to see. GG to him. And uh, we go up four points. So let's see where that actually takes us. So if I press main menu here, Okay, it takes us to the main... Okay, so I think this is, they got a bit to iron out so far. I pressed on, not on this button, but on a completely different button. It took me straight into a jewel. So uh, there you go. You guys got the uh, the lowdown. And uh, we are into the top 200 with that win. So that's actually a great way to start the video. Back into the top 200. I think our best was like 140. So that is what we're aiming for today, obviously. Um... And uh, I say, let's get into another duel here. So yeah, guys, wow. I mean, what an interesting start to the video there. Um, and uh, we're facing an 800 rated play, which is not fantastic news. Obviously, the higher rated, the better here, but hopefully it can be like the last game where we just take it all out really quickly. Uh, do we have plates here? Plates would maybe indicate that this is like, hmm, what is that? Maybe, maybe this is uh, Ontario. I think this could be, oh yeah, that could be the CN Tower. Okay, I like, I like Toronto here. It might not be the case, but I think I'm gonna try it. Now, do I see anything that's actually pretty recognizable or anything like that? I think, yeah, yeah, on the one-way sign, it would be written one way in the US. So this should actually be Toronto indeed, or Toronto, as uh, Torontoers would say. Um, so what is, it doesn't really say anything there. Actually, our opponent guesses in New York, but it's a pretty good guess. It's actually not too far away. So only 500 points damage just off the game there. Um, good thing that we can see the CN Tower. Otherwise, I would have been a bit more worried about the guess. But okay, next round here, looking like like Albania or Montenegro or something like that. I think we just guess quickly here. Maybe Southern Montenegro, Northern Albania could make sense here. So I'll just go there. Um, taking a look at the architecture here, probably with the red roofs feeling more Montenegrin, but still Northern Albania, I think well possible here. Yeah, some of these other buildings are more, like, this one's a bit more ambiguous, I would say, so I guess we'll find out soon enough, but we do have rifts, so, yeah, I think Montenegro does make sense, and it is there. Our opponent is not too bad, getting that is a pretty impressive effort, I would say. So we take a bit of damage, first damage we've taken in the whole game, but it's only 12 points, that's really not too bad. Okay, next one here, round number three, and uh, we are looking at some Senegal, and the Senegal coverage like this, I would say maybe a little bit, hmm. I'm just going to click near uh, Dakar here, I kind of feel like this is near Dakar, uh, there is always the possibility that it's all the way out here, but I think our opponent will probably go for the same here, wouldn't be a surprise if it was in T's or something like that, and wow, yeah, it's right near there, and our opponent goes in Uganda, so a bit of a newer player, uh, did a good job to get Montenegro, of course, but uh, then I guess the rifts were there, and then this one was a little bit tougher, so here we are in Sweden, reddish road here, definitely makes sense, um, how far north do we reckon? Because with a good enough guess here, we can knock out our opponent, and I get the feeling this is quite a bit far further north than you might expect, so maybe somewhere up here could make sense, um, I think this is a good guess, but yeah, it is all the way up there. Wow. Uh, is that enough? 700 points difference could be it here. Yeah, we actually... Oh, we're going to do it. How fantastic, guys. Knocking out two people uh, before uh, the double damage hits, or uh, before the healing round hits. So that is absolutely fantastic. What a start to the video here. Let's keep pushing it up. Uh, I think around 1,270 
is going to be good. Okay, this opponent is really good to face because as long as we get not too much Europe, I feel like we're absolutely golden. This one's obviously Sri Lanka. We got the Sri Lankan Google card here, so we just immediately go in because I think there's a good chance they'll try and guess Thailand here because the Sri Lankan poles look very similar to Thai poles, but the dots don't go all the way down to the ground and with the uh, Thai poles never have these big circles, these big circle insulators on top. We do have a yellow plate and a driving left. Uh, we'll see where he goes. Let's see, let's see. And he is able to get uh, Sri Lanka there, so a good uh, effort. Um, I think the car meta, like the, the, the Senegal round, it was really good to go quickly before he could figure out exactly what was going on. If we know, we just go against this guy because we're only going to gain like three points against him anyway. Uh, next one here, we are looking at maybe some Malaysia here. Is that a bit of black? I think that's a bit of black on the pole, so I think we just instantly send it into Peninsula Malaysia. If he goes here, he should be able to see it. Yeah, there's the black sticker that you find in Peninsula Malaysia. I would say maybe more so East Coast here, just because of the abundance of palms kind of makes it look a bit like Borneo, but um, I could be completely wrong here. So let's see about that. And it is actually just West Coast, but he goes in Thailand. So kind of the opposite of the Sri Lanka run, where this time he makes the mistake I thought he'd make the other time. But okay, that's a good result there. Um, and let's see what happens on the next round here. Ooh, we're in midway at all. This is fantastic. I get the feeling this is the kind of opponent who wouldn't know that um, unless uh, they watch like a lot of GeoGuessr videos or something like that. So here we are on the runway in Midway Toll. I think oftentimes it's at the end of the runway. Yeah, it's at the end of the runway. And uh, there we go. Our opponent actually does know it. So props to them. Four points. Damage there. Not too bad at all. And we're moving forward to round four here. So it seems unlikely that we'll be able to knock him out on a round like this in France. But you never know. It's possible. Okay, we're actually, actually England. There you go. Dot UK. I'm driving left. Um, should be southern then. I think if I thought it was France, then I'll go all the way south here. Uh, Southampton area certainly making a lot of sense. Like, it, it just feels kind of warm. Even though it's an overcast day, it feels kind of warm compared to your average one. A Heathland is probably findable. It is fairly south uh, all the way over here. Uh, but not the best guess. So only 281 points. And Cho Cholderi survives to the healing round. So let's uh, immediately put them in here. Should be somewhere in Europe. So we can just instantly guess here, I could say. And uh, we only need to heal four points. So it really doesn't matter where on the map we guess. But this one is looking like somewhere in Norway. And I would say maybe... I think this could actually be more northern, like in this kind of area here in the Lofoten um, Peninsula. And it ends up being, yeah, even further north there. But a decent guess in uh, Iceland. Well, not that good. Only going to get him 300 points healing. So we really should uh, go as quickly as we can against this guy because I think he's, you know, a little bit slow on the uptake on some of the rounds. Um, so this is Germany for sure. We don't have the Bielefeld, uh, <laughs> Bielefeld or whatever the city's called, um, stickers on the bins. I would, it's winter coverage. It doesn't feel that Hamburg to me, so I might just go Ruger beat here, I think. Um, that probably makes a bit of sense. Uh, we can take a look around here and see if we can see an unblurred plate or something. What does it say? Wouldn't be surprised if the city was here. Yeah, Frankfurt, it's not too bad. Uh, it's going to be just in Frankfurt there. Uh, he goes Hamburg, which makes sense for the winter coverage, but uh, yeah, 800 damage. There wasn't enough brick buildings for me to think Frankfurt there. Okay, next one here, we have some uh, some a church of some kind, probably Canada here. Bit of red on the plate, yeah, so I'd say Alberta then. Yeah, lacking front plates, red on the plate, and like very, you know, very north field, then it should be somewhere in Alberta. I clicked very far north here. Um, it could be around there, but I would probably lean a little bit further south, maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, Edmonton area seems decent. Uh, yeah, this is totally Plains Canada, so I expect our opponent to get Canada, but will they get so close is the question. And wow, was even further north. There we go. All right, I've been to uh, Grand Prairie, so not too far from where I've been. And obviously that's enough damage to take him out. So another good game here, uh, three points. I guess we could keep playing again. I mean, this is the type of opponent where we can definitely just take points um, willy-nilly because uh, I think most times we're going to be winning that pretty easily. Next one, we're against Vasya. Uh, Vasya, sorry, Vasya. Uh, is that a uh, female name or a male name? I'm actually not so sure. My, with my Russian name knowledge, not the best. Anyway, here we are in Mexico, I thought. Uh, we got, like, fairly Argentinian-looking pole tops here. Do we have any black plates? Yes, we do. Okay, so that could be an opportunity to go quickly here. Um, I thought of Cordoba, but maybe the mountains are too big for Cordoba. I would say they probably are. So maybe this city here instead? Um, that would make a decent bit of sense. I'll, I'll just try it. And it ends up being a bit further south there. Mendoza, of course. Normally Mendoza has Gen 4, but yeah, I mean, that makes sense. And our opponent doesn't even guess near any mountains, so an interesting guess, but actually gets closer. Next one here. It shouldn't actually be. Well, we're driving right. I think it's actually just Argentina again. Uh, it feels fairly north again. We do have mountains again. It's like a similar kind of area, but further north this time, I think. Um, and so I don't think, yeah, Peru's not possible here. Um, I think we go kind of Salta area. Which ways do we have mountains? 
No, Mount's the other way. So yeah, I think kind of between Salter and San Miguel are fine. Yeah, San Miguel it is. Okay, that makes sense. And so our opponent, uh, again, getting pretty close there, but not guessing in the mountains. So interestingly, uh, you know, interesting proportion to the to the uh, guesses so far. Now, this, looks, this looks like India or Bangladesh, but it is, I think, Taj Mahal, right? Uh, I, I think so. I think so. And Taj Mahal is in, is it Agra? Agra? I think it's Agra, right? Oh yeah, that's Taj Mahal. Nice, 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 nice. And it was in New Delhi, actually. Whoops. Okay, it's a different palace. Um, it, I didn't. I knew it didn't. It wasn't the main bit of the Taj Mahal, but there's often like side areas, side gardens of the Taj Mahal, um, and so that's what I thought it might be. But okay, next one here, Polish Bollard. Uh, very flat, very kind of generic. Uh, that building makes me want to go more west, but that building. I have no idea. Okay, um, yeah, I don't really know when it comes to Poland, as I've been saying in many videos recently. I will go in the middle. I'll click in the very middle of Poland on this occasion, and it ends up being west. Okay, it was, was kind of a western vibe there. Opponent getting suspiciously close, like always about 50, 100 kilometers away. We'll see though, we'll see. I'm not, not gonna put any accusations out there just yet. It doesn't really matter anyway. But uh, okay, this one looking like uh, Qatar, I would say. So let's see if our opponent gets this. This is fairly new coverage. Um, not not entirely an easy an easy one to get, I would say. Um, I'm just trying to make sure it isn't UAE. I'm pretty sure this is, but anyway, it's just the healing round. So we just click center of Qatar here, and we should be fine, I believe. And it was there. And look at this suspicious guess, man. That's what I'm saying. Like any normal player would just guess in the city, but instead, none of the guesses have made sense, even though they've all been close. Do you understand what I mean? I, I think it's I think it's a little suspicious, a little bit sussy wussy personally. So I think we can take our time. I think our opponent is gonna, uh, you know take uh go more like quickly if you know what i mean and uh, so i think we can take our time to figure out exactly where we think these are so this one i thought was like uh czechoslovakia i guess actually not so sure on the country here to be honest so i think i just well, i didn't actually check for antenna yet do we have an antenna i just click slovakia it's probably serbia then Wow, that is a remarkable guess, yeah. Che but guys, just cheating, like, there's no... Okay, like, I've accused a bunch of people of cheating, many of whom may have not been cheating, like, I've just been saying yes, and maybe, maybe. This guy's definitely cheating, there's no doubt about it in my mind at all. Um, and uh, the next one here, let's see if we can get some good guesses, uh, at least to uh, go down with a fight, because that last guess was no not good at all. Uh, this looks like maybe... Paul is round. Uh, no blue strips, short plates. I guess it is Mexico, then. Um, but it didn't really, like, strike me as so Mexican off the bat. It's a round pole, huh? Okay. But the plates basically only fit for Mexico, I thought. Well, I just have to go for it here. Um, it, like, round pole is a bit concerning, though. Hey, and it was actually Brazil. Okay, I deserve to lose there, but this guy's definitely cheating, so I guess I kind of lost my motivation as well. I think I probably would have gotten it otherwise. Anyway, um, I thought the pl plates were short, and we lose 28 points. Obviously, we have to wait a second to, uh, not get cued with them again. If you think I'm being premature with the accusation here, I can assure you that that guy is definitely cheating. Like, there's just, like, none of the guesses made sense. Even, even for a bad player. He was always just, he knew, he had a script, he knows what the location is, and he's just clicking like 30 kilometers away to look more legit, but no, no, no. No one's been, no one's being fooled, bro. No one's being fooled. Okay, the first one here is Guatemala, because we got the Google car. I think if I was facing this direction, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, though, like without the blur. Say I'm looking like this. I think I probably would have gone like Colombia or something like that. So it's a good thing uh, we had that, and it ends up being all the way south. Yeah, that's why, because it was a... Uh, it's uh, like a, a unique landscape in terms of Guatemala. Normally you see more mountains, or at least some hills. That was pretty flat. Okay, next one here, we got the uh, Estonian flag. So thinking just, uh, oh, tilted antenna as well, interesting. Um, are we just in Estonia? Well, yeah, we got enough Estonian flags. Like, I don't think you'd see a, a road with this many Estonian flags anywhere but the great country of Estonia. So I'm thinking Tallinn here. Probably makes a lot of sense. Feels like maybe outer suburbs, Tallinn. Um, if I had to say, let's go and check out, see if we can learn some meta here. Uh, well, yeah, it's just going to be that, isn't it? Yeah. Bit of damage, so that's not too bad against Oxygen, 27, uh, 18 points. And uh, moving forward into the next round, which is looking like somewhere in, is it like Iceland or something like that, I think, maybe? Hmm. Yellow field and sign, white plates. This is definitely Iceland. Now, I, I assume our opponent will get this, so I want to try and line it up a bit better. We've, like, got nothing much to the south there, to the north. We're kind of looking, we look across a bay. So I think Reykjavik is not really that possible here. So we, we should be looking for a second city where you can kind of look across a bay and see some, something a bit taller like that. Um, maybe something like this, but yeah, again, that doesn't really fit. I could just click middle here. That's not a bad idea, but I guess North Coast makes a lot more sense if we can have that across the lake like this. Hmm. 
yeah, we, 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 we have the town on the south side of the lake, like this, except, yeah, the town's on the south side instead of the north side. So, can I find anything else that actually fits that description? Seems like everything's on the north side rather than the south side here. Um, this one could fit, potentially. Okay, don't mind that. I'm gonna try it. Uh, I, I hope it's on this side. There's a lot of towns in this area, even if a lot of them are completely tiny, like this one probably is. And I'm sure there's like town name somewhere over here if, if we could have walked. But, uh, oh wow, it's a big city. It could just be Reykjavik. This is quite big. Yeah, this is just Reykjavik. Um, okay, we're looking at an island. That makes sense. I got like smaller town vibes there. We got the opposite side. Maybe just clicking Reykjavik would have been a better idea in the grand scheme of things there, but I did not get the feeling that we're in such a big city. Okay, this one is just like slightly north of, uh, of Santiago, I would say. Yeah, I don't think it can really be anywhere else. Um, so it's, you know, uh, what can I say here? Like the, the pole is like got the cutout in the middle and it's uh, concrete. We can actually move here to see. Yeah, cut out, cu cut out concrete pole, um, dots at the top. And it is just Santiago, goodness me. Um, yeah, didn't, again, didn't feel like capital city to me, but we lose more points yet again. We can get all those back in healing round, but yeah. Okay, what is healing round gonna be? This time it is Brazil, I believe. Um, although that is an Argentinian play. Okay, North Argentina here, presumably then. I don't think it's in Misiones, which is the province on the panhandle but I do think it's gonna be somewhere like up here. So I think maybe Goya could make a lot of sense here. Just kind of hedge it for this whole region. And it is, yeah, in that, in Resistencia. Yeah, so that makes a lot of sense. 1.1K healing is really not too bad. So moving forward to the next round here, let's see what we've got going on. Blue strips on the plates feels maybe Italian. I mean, uh, like, uh, yeah, it's actually Greek, I mean. Um, and I think this time we've learned our lesson and we just go Athens, right? I mean, this feels more like Athens than, than previous rounds we've seen, so I go. Um, I think my hot prediction is that Oxygen will also go Athens. Yes, he did. <laughs> He's guessed the capital city basically every round so far, and it's uh, paid off for him. So we do our first bit of damage there after healing, and we're on to double damage now, which looks like Eastern Europe or Russia. Hopefully Russia, because I've been practicing Russia. Yeah, that's not too bad. It says Russia there. Short antenna here. Okay. Um, yeah. This is not as easy as a round, of a round as I had hoped, but the short antenna, we can't be too east. Um, I don't think, there's no chance that this is Ukraine. So I think I clicked maybe Param kind of area here. Maybe Tumen is a good hedge because it feels kind of more Eastern. Krasnoyarsk actually may have been better. Is How hilly is this? It doesn't feel super hilly. Krasnoyarsk is more hilly. Novosibirsk, I think it's like Novosibirsk, Tumen, like maybe one of these uh, Ural cities. And yeah, it is one of the Ural cities. Yeah, Katerinburg instead. So immediately good damage there. Almost enough to take him out actually, 4.3. Definitely had more East vibes, but I'm glad I didn't go in Novosibirsk or something like that. Uh, next one's 2.5 times damage. And we are looking at what here? Uh, do we have an antenna? We, didn't, we do, okay, we do. I thought though Serbia here, it may still be Serbia with an antenna, which you do see sometimes. We've got a holy pole though. Okay, these holy poles looking more um, Hungarian, more Romanian. I would say like South Hungary here because it really reminded me of Serbia. Um, yeah, that looks like Hungarian language, I would say. What's this blue sign up here? Yeah, couldn't actually tell you 100% the country here. Um, this pole top, Wait, there's a pole top that really reminded me of like more of Romania here, actually. I forget where it was though. It was over this direction, I guess. Yeah, this pole top here. So maybe I should just climb and click. I'm just gonna click right here instead. Uh, close to Serbia. I think it's gonna be one of these towns. If not over the border in Hungary is also possible still uh, because I'm kind of bad at differentiating the two countries. So, but like, especially on like a round like this where there's nothing beyond like a bit of language and stuff like that, which I can't tell the difference between, but looking like we are just in that region and a good guess from our opponent who presumably was able to use this sign to good effect, but we actually managed to get closer, which I'm happy with. Definitely looked like Serbia. That's, that's without a doubt. So, okay. Next round here looked good for us. A bit rural, a bit like meta reliant here. Okay. We just got an antenna thinking then no uh, rifts. I think this is southern Croatia somewhere. I just click near split and call it a day. I think it could be further north than that. Uh, I'm not too worried here. I think this is definitely Croatia. I guess second opportunity, a second possibility would be like Sardinia or like Spain. But as for me, this looks like these rocks, these white rocks everywhere seem super, super um, correct for where I clicked. And it is correct where I clicked. And yeah, Spain's not a bad guess there, but we take him off out and uh, we gain back a few points that we desperately need. Five points there. That's not too bad, actually. So pretty happy with that. Let's head into another one here. Okay, we finally got an opponent here, Max NSK. How will Max go against us here? We're starting off in Russia. I love Russia because these days I have practiced it a bit 
And so I, I should be a little bit more competent at this country. Um, hmm, we've got clues here. Mit, mit, mitino. Mitino, I don't know what means. I don't think it's a city name though. It's not one I've heard of, that's for sure. Yellow taxi here. Surely that is somewhat, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This feels like a bigger city. I could see a Katerinburg again. Thinking of going further west this time though. Nizhny or Moscow or something like that. Might go Nizhny here, I think. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, I reckon. So I'll go for it. Um, yeah, this could be anywhere. So I guess we can go around and take a look, see what we see. Um, yeah, don't hate to guess. I mean, I just don't know really where this one will be. It's, it's definitely a more difficult round as they come. And it is just Moscow, if that makes sense. Other suburbs of Moscow, again, didn't have the biggest capital city vibe, but I said that a bunch of times this round been wrong, so I guess I guess it's just uh, my vibes being a bit off today. Anyway, round number two here, we are looking at uh, yellow field inside with red houses here, thinking just Sweden. For some reason, did not feel particularly um, Finnish here, so yeah, with the yellow field inside, I'm just going to trust it. Can this be anywhere else? It can be Finland. Okay, there we go. Um, maybe I should have hedged more for Finland because it was always possible, but the landscape felt more Swedish to me. So there we go. A bit of off vibes today, that's for sure. But we've still been winning most of our duels. Only one against one loss against a blatant cheater, so it's really not too bad. Uh, this one looks like is this? Am I tripping? Or is yeah? This is this is Bhutan. This is Bhutan, surely. Um, I think Bhutan. One thing you see is that the car is often more visible. Like you can see more of it. And then we got the deep ditch, and of course these. Classic, uh, like, big blocks of concrete, which is what's making it definitely Bhutan. But Max appears to be a competent player, because that is not an easy Bhutan to get, especially if uh, there weren't any clues around the corner, because I didn't see anything that made me certain. But next one, we've got Chevron Knowledge. This is yellow and black, so it should be somewhere in Portugal. I will take a look around just in case. But yeah, this is certainly Portugal. And uh, watch him go Australia, because this looks, like, amazingly Australian, does it not? We've got the Eucalyptus here. Um, all you need to know is chevrons to save yourself, but this looks remarkably Australian, I would say. Uh, and he goes in Turkey, which is not a terrible guess, um, especially not ba as bad as Australia would have been. We still do 3.9k, so despite a few bad early guesses, like a bit of chevron knowledge comes in absolute clutch there. I think I could have gotten it without them, but yeah, I mean, like, what a difficult round anyway. Um, ride sharing going on here, what does it say? Oh, Wien, okay. So I think we're going to be in Vienna here. I'm gonna go for it. Um, we do have, ooh, okay, that's a bunch of different languages. I was worried for a sec. I was like, that is not German. That is not German. But that is Herzlich Willkommen. Um, and uh, I assume we should be correct here. Yeah, we got German language. I, I th maybe shouldn't have trusted that entirely, but yeah, we'll take it. And he doesn't work it out. Yeah, that was a difficult round, especially considering where we were parked right at the start. But okay, we go into a big advantage here against Max. Let's see what the next round brings us here. 1.5 times damage. And uh, it looks like somewhere maybe, is it Finland or something like that here? Hmm. It's a bit hilly for Finland. Um, but I just don't know what we're really looking at here, guys. This is difficult. No antenna at all. Wooden poles, yeah. And very hilly, like, it could even be like Norwegian-style hilly. We don't see any road lines. That's the thing that really concerns me here. I might have to Sweden hedge, guys. But it really reminded me more of Finland, so I might have to ocean hedge here, guys. I haven't done this... Wait, what is that line there? I haven't done this in a jewel in a good while, but I think I'm gonna click like this. Is that wise? Is that wise? I don't know. Like, the hills are surely too big for Finland. I have to click a bit further north here. I think I click a bit further north, that, but the pines feel a bit more southern. I'm clicking here. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Where is this, guys? Oh my goodness. It's all the way up there in Norway. So not a bad result. Just clicking in the ocean there does not actually pay off. It does not actually go too badly for us. But goodness, we got a bit lucky that our opponent didn't get close to that because that was a difficult round. And uh, the pines felt southern to me. Wow, I'm so surprised about that. Is that a red on the plate? I think this might be Belgium. Yeah, I think this is Belgium then. I, I'm going to trust the number plate here. I think I think that should be correct. I mean, black roof over there makes sense for Belgium. This house looks kind of French or Belgian. Yeah, everything everything fits for Belgium here. I'm just tr trusting that this guy's not traveling too far. Is that a bit of blue on the other side of the plate? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's a Belgian plate. Oh, it's a French plate. Wow. Why does it look so red? And that's big damage. Okay, we're going to lose 2,000 points there. Oh, bit of a blunder. Okay, I mean, guys, I don't know. I don't know. Something about today, I mean, I'm, I'm not on that much sleep, to be fair, but something about today is not going that well for me, but I'm still going to play on. Uh, this one is Poland. We've got Polish signs here. Um, 
Hmm, gonna go like south of Warsaw here? I don't know, like as I've said many a time, Poland is just very difficult to reach and get. I thought, you know, last time I said L Lublin, I got the right vibe. This time I'm clicking similar place. I feel like it could be that area again, though I really don't know. So let's find out if I was right about that. It's completely wrong, it's just Western. He goes and check you, and will he be closer? He's closer, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna lose a bit more points there, and things start to get scary here. We need something that's gettable, or that he doesn't know. And this looks like this is definitely somewhere in Singapore, I'd imagine, with these style of apartment buildings. I can just go for it here. Um, that is where I'll go. Let's hop over to the main building and see how easy it will be for him. Yeah, if you see these double yellows, he will get it for sure. Um, and yes, he does. I was right, it was northern suburbs. Not a bad click there. <clears throat> but okay, that's only 69 points damage. Nice. Um, but we are still under pressure here. We need to perform well, better than I've been performing so far in the video. And uh, we are looking at some chili here. That's not entirely good news. I'm not the best chili region guesser. I'll just have to go for it here. Um, Santiago area makes a lot of sense here. So I will just click north of Santiago by a little bit because uh, last time I clicked too far north and I got punished for it. So hopefully this time it's uh, it's not actually where I clicked last time. That would be a little bit annoying. But I think it can be anywhere up to Ovaya and down to maybe Carico. And yeah, it is all the way up near Ovaya there. In fact, in Ovaya and... Um, well, he doesn't get the vibe. It looked a lot like Spain. I would say that was a highly Spanish looking chili round, but uh, yeah, I mean, we, we take the win. So, oh, we're almost back up to where we start off the video, which is good, um, but uh, it has been a little bit of a painful journey after losing that uh, cheater game. But to be fair, I think with the way I'm playing, I did deserve to lose at least one today. And here is our opponent. It's I Mean High, who is someone I've faced twice before in this series. So let's see if we can take a win today. I don't really want to be facing someone so good. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes here. So the first one's a pretty obvious Sri Lanka, and our opponent will definitely get it. But it is Northern again. Both times it's been Northern Sri Lanka. I've picked it out better than my opponent today, so that's at least something to be happy about off of this episode. Uh, next one here is similarly difficult, or similarly remote, which I like. It's going to be California. No, it's not going to be California. But the road almost feels a bit Texas. So I think I may actually... Well, hmm. It's definitely USA, okay. Um... It is a little bit hilly. We do have mountains there. Okay, so not Texas, presumably. Big mountains west here. In where? Like Colorado, possible here? Um, I might go Colorado, because it doesn't feel too north to me. Um, and the, the road feels quite Texas in, in the way the pavement's kind of black and white. So, yeah, I could even, like, it, it could even be here. It could even be looking at this ridge over here, but I just don't trust myself enough. I don't think it would be that grassy. So, yeah, I think I'll just click middle Colorado here. I don't know about this guess, man, but I just can't shake the fact that this could still be Texas, so I don't want to go too far north, you know what I mean? Uh, this is the quintessential Texas pavement, but I guess found elsewhere. I, I really don't want this to be down here, because otherwise I will have lost so many free points. And will it be? Will it actually be? Surely not. Okay, it's just right there. What a guess, dude. Okay, let's go. Right near Colorado Springs. Um, I guess if you have Texas pavement and it's not Texas, maybe then Colorado is the next best bet. Who knows? Um, but the next one here is looking interesting. Uh, so Short antenna, should be somewhere, is that like a lack of blue street? Ooh, this could be Russia. This could be Russia, pink flowers. That pole, okay, like in Russia all of a sudden. Um, could still be, oh, black car indeed. Yeah, um, ooh, where to go in Russia though? This didn't feel Russian off the bat, so I'm a little bit concerned. Could still be Ukraine, could still be Ukraine. Um, but I guess I'll go Urals here. I'll go like Ufa area. I really hope this is not Ukraine, but I think with this pole here, it should either be Russia or Ukraine and the purple flowers remind me more North. So I think we're right. This could be, we could knock him out here if he, if he completely fumbles it and we're really close, but okay. It's just near Moscow instead. So no, no cigar there. We're going to actually lose 1.5 K instead. Uh, so things go to basically even here, which is fine, which is fine. Uh, next one here, we've got an interesting par glitch. Where is this going to be? Um, I'm kind of curious to see. Long antenna here. Ooh, very interesting. I would have said, like, Croatia or Czechia. Looking at this architecture. Mm. It's a bit like white, isn't it? There's a lot of white, like, rooms and uh, walls and stuff like that. That pole's interesting. We did have an antenna. This could still be Bulgaria, I guess. I didn't see many Bulgarian roofs, but... Yeah, maybe I'll guess like North Bulgaria here. I guess so. I think that is the best play here. So I'm going to go for it. What's it going to be? Well, actually, oh, wow, Czechia, indeed. Man, long antenna with the flag. I shouldn't have guessed 
Romania. I don't know. I, I'm I'm kind of um, Bulgaria. I'm kind of tripping today, guys. No no lie. But um, you know, I have I'm going off off on a holiday tomorrow, so I have to film. And you guys are getting the real deal. So let's see here. Uh, that is the southern Google car here. If it's snowy, I think Osh, right? Um, if we have the southern uh, the southern mirror here, so I think I go Osh here. I think Osh sometimes has snow coverage. Okay, it's just between them in Uzgen. Um, so we're gonna do a similar amount of uh, healing there. And we got a slight disadvantage here against I mean Hi. Um, I really hope I can close this one out. That would definitely be nice. Um, we're looking at 1.5 times damage. Uh, yeah, just gonna be Israel here. So the multipliers are just gonna go up, which is uh, interesting. It's gonna be more and more random as the multipliers go up, um, but that's okay. Uh, we uh, do nine damage there, and we moved forward to double damage, which is like, is this like? I think this is uh, actually going to be somewhere in... Yes, indeed. Okay, this green road, this is uh, in Mongolia. And I believe it was somewhere over here. One of these roads, like this maybe... It's like somewhere, it's somewhere like about there. It's like one of these kind of roads over here. You got like a green camo and like an empty rack along the whole car. I just I just remember it's west of Ulaanbaatar, but so does I mean Hai, who uh, I, I mentioned that in a video very soon and he watches all my videos. So I, I presume that that's how he remembered it as well. Anyway, 2.5 times damage now. And we are looking at some, <sighs> what? Um, France, I think, based on this house. Could even be Ireland though. That looks kind of Irish, does it not? I'm gonna click all the way south in Ireland or all the way north in France. I feel like the, the wall around the house feels very Irish. I'm gonna try South Ireland here. A little bit risky perhaps. Um, I don't know if he's playing moving or no moving, but yeah, it looks like we made the right decision. I would say, I would say so. Um, we got white rear plates. I hope it's not like north, because it could be. As soon as I move, it looks very dreary in the way that you might see in the north, but it feels kind of southern vegetation. We'll see, we'll see. Wow, we got close there. Yeah, that's why I felt France off the bat. I guess like the more south in Ireland you go, the more French the houses look and the more north east in, or northwest in France you go, the more Irish the houses look. It's the Celtic ancestry. Uh, next one here is like Po Valley, I would say. Yeah, Po Valley, yeah, definitely, definitely. Some of these houses feel a bit like German almost. So Po Valley, Italy is the only thing that making sense here. We don't have an antenna, uh, but I think the round is quite easy with the black back from the sign. And uh, yeah, ends up being just near Venice there. Yeah, yeah, I should have clicked even close to Austria because one of those houses felt like surprisingly Austrian. So uh, we're back in the lead here. I I'm making some good guesses today, but you know, I can't get too cocky because it's not been going that easily for me. Uh, next one here. Oh, we got the, um, yeah, so we got the North Macedonian smudges on the paint, on the, uh, on the lens here. If you see like these three dead flies or smudges or whatever they call them, uh, then it should be somewhere in North Macedonia. Again, a little bit of damage here, not too bad. 500 points, it could be the difference maker. We've gotten close a lot of times in this duel, which I'm happy about. And this looks fairly good for us. I think it's gonna be Kenya or something like that. I've been studying Kenya. Yeah, it is Kenya. Um, Silver car, so feeling more west here. Uh, the classic old generation three Kenya coverage. It's so rare to get these days, um, but I'm thinking like Eldoret area here. How healy is it? Yeah, it is fairly healy. So yeah, I kind of like Eldoret here. Let's try it out. And it ends up being Eldoret region indeed. Quadruple damage and we're doing even more here. So just being consistently closer in this duel, which I'm very happy with, but um, can we finish off the video with a bang? We can actually get higher than we were, which would be great. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. This is where? Um, where's the sun, firstly? Sun is more so to the south, so northern hemisphere. But that pole is omega confusing, to be honest. No antenna. This is, I believe, North Macedonia, but that pole top I've never seen before. So I think we just go for the guess here, right? I mean, huh, these are big mountains, though. Hmm. So sun definitely to the south. Oh, can sun can be to the south. Could this be chilly? I don't think the house is fit for Chile. Yeah, so okay, it should just be it should just be North Macedonia. But the mountains are so big that I have to click like right there, I think. It could be southern Serbia as well. Um, but I think with a lack of antenna, I'm basically just have to be right here. But the uh, poles were really confusing to me. I've never seen this pole top before. And when you've played a lot and you see something you don't know, then it sends your whole like worldview chattering down. You know what I mean? Okay, this one is in North Macedonia. Is that going to be enough? I think it is. I think I'm going to end it off right there, right? Yeah, just enough. Great. Okay, so well played to I mean hi there. Had me uh, on the ropes early on there, but what 13 um, rating is going to get us above where we were. So we are going to be ending up the video on 185, which is good. We ended the top 200. That's what we wanted to do today. And uh, I say thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end. I'll see you guys in the video very soon. Till next time. Goodbye.